Developing color film with Cinestill C41 two bath process. Putting the film in the developing tank, use a warm water bath to adjust the temperature of the developer Blix and pre-wash. If starting with room temperature developer, it may take several minutes of soaking in hot water to raise the temperature to 102 degrees. Periodically sample the temperature of your chemicals to see how quickly the temperature is rising and falling and approaching 102 degrees. After some practice, you'll get a feel for how long it takes to change the temperature of your liquid. If you overshoot and the temperature becomes too hot, just change the bath to a cool water and continue to sample the temperature until it equals 102. This part takes some time and patience, but after practice it becomes easy. Now that the chemicals are the right temperature, go load the film in complete darkness. Prior to loading the film, I like to get the temperature of the developer to around 106 degrees and the temperature of the bath from about 106 to 110 degrees. That way, when I come out of the dark, if any cooling has taken place, the temperature of the developer is still ready to go. With the film loaded, I take one final temperature measurement before starting the one minute pre-soak. Better to have it all correct before the pre-soak than scrambling at the last minute to adjust temperatures. For the one minute pre-soak, I just use plain warm tap water. You want the pre-soak temperature to be as close as possible to the 102 degrees of your developer temperature. Throughout the entire development process, I strive to keep the water bath equal to or slightly higher than the developer temperature. This will keep all my chemicals at a stable temperature throughout. Okay, we are finally ready to do the one minute pre-soak in 102 degree Fahrenheit water. Maintaining a water bath temperature can be tricky and take some practice. I'm often running new hot water, draining some water, and measuring again and again throughout the entire process. While the one minute pre-soak is taking place, prepare the developer for pouring. Each brand of film seems to have a signature color when pouring out the pre-soak rinse. In this case, the Kodak Ektar comes out dark green. Pour the developer into the tank and start your three and a half minute timer. Depending on your technique, either start the three and a half minute timer just prior to pouring or just after the pouring is complete. Either way is fine, just keep your technique consistent. Because the developer and tank spend time out of the hot water bath, I usually start with a developer temperature of approximately 104 degrees to compensate for any cooling that takes place during the three and a half minutes. Getting my gloves on and off is usually one of the trickiest parts of this whole process. Once the developer is poured, agitate the tank for the first 10 seconds. I usually end up with about 20 seconds on the first one. Agitation can be accomplished by inversion or by using the little twirling stick that comes with a Patterson type tank. I refer to this as twiddling. Personally, I prefer using the inversion method. Inversion can be messier than twiddling and requires the tank to be out of its warm water bath periodically, but I feel like the photos develop more evenly. Others will argue that twiddling is preferable because it prevents the formation of bubbles and is less of a mess and can keep the temperature more consistent through the development. After the first 10 second agitation period, put the tank back into its hot water bath and then agitate for five seconds every 30 seconds for the remainder of the three and a half minutes. When the three and a half minutes is up, pour the developer back into its container and pour in the blicks. This will be eight minute process at a temperature of between 75 and 105 degrees Fahrenheit. The Blix temperature is less critical than the developer, but I try and keep it as close to 102 degrees Fahrenheit as possible. Set your timer for eight minutes after pouring in the Blix. As with the developer, agitate for the first 10 seconds and then again for 5 seconds every 30 seconds.
Wash your funnel and thermometer after each use so as not to cross-contaminate your chemicals. Eight minutes later. Pour the Blix back into its container and begin the warm water wash. Wash in warm water, 75 to 105 degrees, for approximately 8 to 10 minutes, or until the water is completely clear when poured from the tank. I typically just use my hands to gauge the water temperature for the wash. The Cinestill instructions say to wash for only 3 minutes, but I find that still at the end of 3 minutes the water comes out slightly pink. Therefore, I extend the time to approximately 8 to 10 minutes. When I'm satisfied the film is finally cleaned, I do one last rinse in distilled water for an additional one minute. It is recommended to do a final rinse in a stabilizer for approximately one minute. This will help preserve the longevity of the film and reduce water stains when drying. I currently skip this step primarily due to laziness and also the fact that I scan the photos as soon as they're dry. I do have plans to eventually incorporate a stabilizer into my processing. Also would like to perform an experiment on the longevity of the color film with or without the stabilizer. After the final rinse and distilled water, take the reel out and give it a few gentle shakes, more gently than shown here as the film has started to slip off the reel. Now admire your color photos and hang to dry.